Hello everybody in YouTube world, it's been a while, and i um, coming to give you a review, updated review, on the Toro Smart Stow. Uh, we got the rear wheel drive, it's got the big wheels, um, it's got the 7.25 Briggs and Stratton motor. Um, you might ask, why haven't I got it smart stowed and standing, but I don't bother, I have several mowers in here. Um, I just line them up, it's easier for me. But, a lot of people have been asking me to update the review on this, and I'm going to give a quick update. As a commercial mower, for me, it's been pretty good. Three things that I'm not a particularly big fan about for what I need it for. One, these rear wheels, I pointed this out at the beginning, they're a little flimsy for my liking. For homeowners, they won't be a bad thing. Um, it's not a big issue for most homeowners and regular residential be fine the mower the side chute is a little small um, it gets clogged up uh, if you got wet thick grass pretty easy mulch is pretty good though um, the other thing I don't like I don't like the flimsy adjustment tabs with that being said that's it uh, everything else on the mower is great the little uh, recycle thing here where you can recycle and then go on the drive to that that's a nice feature um, over the time I don't know how long it'll be you know great but it, it's done well um, bags well mulches well um, deck underneath stays pretty clean even in wet grass to be honest it's just that side shoot is just a little too small I think uh, the mo the engine's got good power actually it's got such good power for this mower I didn't even bother turning it up, the RPMs, to the, the high limit. So, if you're looking for a good home residential mower, I'd give it a solid 8.5. Um, starts on first pull every time, unless you have somebody who's not pulling on and engaging this. Uh, they start and they forget and they start pulling on it, they'll find out that it'll flood it real quick and easy. So remember to always pull that if you buy one. Um, no issues, though. No starting issues, no engine issues. Mows like a champ, leaves clean lines. Um, besides that, there's not much else to say about it. Um, if you want to buy one, um, see if you can catch one on sale maybe. I, I think Home Depot's had some now, 40, 50 bucks off here and there. Um, um, I'm trying to see about locating, if I can get a smaller wheel for the back of these. That matches the front maybe. Um, I was looking around and I haven't had time to really get into it. If not, I might sell this mower uh, down the road and buy me something with four same size wheels. I've never been a big fan of the bigger rear wheels like that on these kind of 21 inches. But, um, oh yeah, and one other thing. Transmissions pull strong, but when you go to pull back, you have to kind of push in and make sure, then roll it back, otherwise it fights you. Uh, but besides that, everything else is good. But good engine, good mower. Um, Probably for a three hundred fifty to four hundred dollar range, you can, it's a pretty good mower. Anyway, I hope this helps everybody out there. Uh, no other major complaints. Um, I think it's pretty good. The wheels seem, as far as the tires and stuff, they seem pretty good. They don't, they're not wearing quickly or anything. I probably got about thirty hours on it now. Okay, till next time. Thank you.